Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. So there's a Gorgo grab going on right now. Har har. So what is going on with this? Basically, let's get back to the beginning and hit start here. We are going to do a video on Gorgorab and how he can carry your team and if it's worth you to chase after Gorgorab, right? To go after him, to do these summons right now for this 10 times summon for Gorgorab. And basically how it works is you're still going to need to hit Epic, right? You still have to hit that 8% chance to get an Epic. Once you hit that Epic chance, then you have a much higher percentage to get Gorgorab. So if there's, you know, simple math that there's a whole bunch of 100 and something, 150 Epics in the game, you divide that by 100, that's 1.5% chance for each of them, right? So when you hit Epic, you have a 1.5% chance to get Gorgorab, to get Zargala, 1.5% chance to get her. So if he is 10% chance more, then you would have a 15% chance to get him, and then the, re the rest would drop down to whatever percentage spread out. I'm pretty sure that's how it would work, right? If it's not working, let me know. Let me know if my math is all messed up. So Gorgorab has good base stats, right? Really good base stats at 60, good HP, good attack, good defense, good speed. What is he there for? What would you use Gorgorab for? Well, this is an all 50 team right now. We have a level 50, uh, Reliqui, Sentinel, Zargala, and who is the other person? And Coldheart. So it's just like Arbiter. If you've watched Arbiter do stuff, we play, and then he had, he he also has the uh, speed in Arena increased by 23%. So if you've ever done Arena, of course you've seen him in Arena as a speed lead. He's great there as well. If you're playing early game, mid game, and you don't have a lot of champions on your account, Gorgorab is fantastic to have. I had him when I came up going early and he was great. He helped me out a lot. So a skill one has a 75% chance maxed out to remove one debuff, which is great in a lot of areas. We'll talk about his other skills in a minute. I think it's going to slowly progress onto his <laughs> other skills. But as you can see, he's resing people. So if you've been paying attention at all, not looking at me, looking at the game, basically what it does is he's your failsafe, right? You come in here, Wave 2 is usually a big problem for a lot of people. So a skill 3 increases your turn meter of all your allies by 15% and then places the increased attack buff for 2 turns on a 3 turn cooldown max up, which is good. It's a, it's a turn meter boost. It helps out your team tremendously. I usually like to run him with a level 50 Apothecary when I'm at this stage in the game instead of a level 50, um, what is this girl's name? Reliqui, because she, right now she's kind of stealing the show. Sometimes she'll resurrect somebody, right? Well, if she didn't resurrect somebody... Gorgorab would be resurrecting everybody as well, so don't really pay that much attention to it. They're going to die anyways in a minute, and Gorgorab's going to bring them all back to life. And so that's what he's there for. Revive all dead allies, gives them 25% HP, and then heals them for another 25% HP. Or if there's nobody dead, he can still do the move and heal everybody by 25% of their HP. So in any runs you do, once you get Arbiter in-game, you bring Arbiter with you in Ice Golems, you bring her in with Fire Knight, you bring her into Dragons. That way, if you have anybody die, she just brings them back to life and the game goes on as usual. And you can also bring, you know, a little bit more fragile DPS heavy champions in there and do more damage, do faster runs. If they die, no big deal. You bring them back to life and you just go through it. And then you, then you beat that stage, you're good to go. So here we are. Look at Gorgrab right now. We are at, boom, everybody's back to life. That's what he does. That's what he did for me when I was coming up. I'm only doing Minotaur right now, and then we're going to do PvP, and then we're going to call it a day. At the very end of this, I'm going to show you all the gear on each of these people that I have right here. I actually do like Sentinel a lot. He's a really cool real ch rare champion. I like the, what's her name? I can't remember her name right now. <laughs> the RT. I can't remember her name. I just said it a minute ago. The one on the far left, the new Void champion that does the heal and revive. I like her as well. So maybe we'll get some new things done with Sentinel. This guy right here, boom, who heals himself on his stuff. But anyways, we're talking about Gor Gorgorab. So if you've done Arena, you've seen him in Arena, you've seen him in Arena, or you've seen Arbiter in Arena. And, you know, let's face it, they do, they do pretty much almost the same exact thing, right? So he's good for you. He's good for a team. If, if you need him, if you want to do the summons this way, you can. If you want to keep doing summons and, and have a chance to hit 8% to get an Epic, and then a higher chance to get another Gorgorab if you already have one, sure, you can fish for for skill ups, right? If you wanted to. Do I think this is an amazing event? No, I, I don't think it is at all. I don't, I, even even if the epic was like a really cool epic, let's just say it was Skull Crusher, right? Counter attack unit that everybody wants if you don't have counter attack. And it was a special weekend. I think then a lot of money would be pulled in. But only then. I, I think if you put any other champion in there, even if it was a Royal Guard or a Tyrell or anything else, I don't think people would go necessarily super crazy on doing summons just because of that alone. I just don't feel they would. I don't know. Maybe to work out, and, and that's what I think Polarium's doing. I think they are testing it out to see how it works. 
I love seeing new ways to summon and get things, so I'm not opposed to it at all. I think it's really cool. You know, we, we get a chance to, you get a higher chance to get a champion. Now, now just be warned, you, you don't get a chance to get that champion, of course. You get a higher chance and you still have to hit that 8% to, to proc an epic, right? But when that epic comes up, you have a higher chance to get that champion. So it's fun. I mean, it's something different for sure with so many champions that they have out there if they start doing this more often. Here's a speed lead. We got a, we got a speed lead here. Now, unfortunately, his speed overall is way slower than any of my guys I have in arena. So kind of can't really showcase him that well. And I don't know how he does against this team because this team looks pretty frightening right now. But we'll see. We'll play through that. So his kit is good. It's good for a carry, right? I've done videos where I talked about all the carries out there. Nazana, Jerig, Rear Guard Sergeant, Arbiter, this guy, Gorgorab, you know, all of them, they can carry your team and kind of help you, right? Help you help you progress through waves, get to the boss and get everything done. And that's what he can do for you. Because I used to use him at 50, just like, not like this one, like you saw me do Minnow. I used to use him at 50 with other 50s as I, as I was coming up. And he would do that. You know, my whole team would wipe, almost wipe, right? He would be the last guy because I'd make him fast and I'd make him super tanky. He would resurrect everybody, fill their health up enough that we could finish that wave, get onto the boss and get things done. So it wasn't a problem. Like I'd have Apothecary with me to give us a speed boost, right? To make everybody much faster. So we're two turning the waves, hopefully. And then he would just bring everybody back. Business as usual. Finish the fight. We're good to go. So that's it. That's Gorgorab in a nutshell. I mean, that's what he does. You've seen him in Arena. If you're if, if you're new, if you're in game, it doesn't matter. If you've played this game any kind of length of time, you will have seen Gorgorab in Arena always as a speed lead, bringing people back to life. That's just how it's been. So he's a good unit. I, I mean, I was really happy when I pulled him early on. I was very happy with him. I was always satisfied with what he could do for me, getting me through the game. So it's a cool thing to do. What I want you to do, though, is if you, if you do go hunting for him, let me know if you pull him. Let me know how many epics you actually did get. Let me know if you got Gorgorab because I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I mean, even, at a, like, even once you hit epic, if you have, say, a 15% chance to get Gorgorab, you know, it's all RNG. It's always RNG. Who knows Who knows what we're going to get? Who knows what we're going to get? So I wish you all the best of luck. If you're going for Gorgorab, I wish you the best of luck. If they do, do do this again, and they do do it for somebody like Skull Crusher right here on the right, on the opposing team, that would be pretty amazing for people who don't have counterattack. Will they do that because it's Skull Crusher? I don't know. That'd be really, I think, I think it would be good. I don't think, I don't, I think it would be healthy for the game. I don't think it would be a bad thing for the game. Sure, more people get counterattack. More people should have counterattack, okay? Because so many things in the game rely on counterattack because the game's kind of overtuned for most things, and you need counterattack for Fire Knight. You need it for the clan boss. You need it for other things out there to have a really good time. I think the rest of this is just showing you the gear that I had on those people, so it didn't look too overpowering when I because everybody always asks for gear anyway. So I want to show you the gear. I had to take off some of their gear so that they would actually not attack Gorgorab you know, right away so that they would leave him for kind of last because I had too much gear on the Reliquary girl and Sentinel definitely had too much gear. He was too tanky. He was healing himself back every turn. He's a really cool champ and I had to take a chest piece off of him as well. So you can see all their stats and that is it guys. That's all I've got for Gorgorab. Please let me know what you think about him. Let me know mainly what you think about this event. This has kind of been a Gorgorab review. I think we show his masteries too. I didn't really go over his masteries, so I guess it's not... <laughs> Maybe, I think I already did a video on Gorgorab and I went over all this stuff for him and I did pretty much the same thing. It's an older video. I didn't have a green screen back then. A lot of things were different when I first started out. So maybe we'll go back and watch that. But his mastery is really for Gorgorab. I ran him plain. I ran him with nothing at all. If you run him, if you want to run him in game and he's super tanky like he should be and he's fast, then you can go defensive tree, alleviate some damage that your other people would take, get those, get those defensive traits that... I don't even know if I click on it here. <laughs> Maybe get those get those masteries that you know take the fit, the twenty percent additional damage when first time when it when one of your allies is hit. You know do things like that because there's not a lot you can. He's not a DPS person. He's not going to put out the damage. There's really really no reason to give him War Master. I mean to get that extra damage, it's just not necessary. You could do other things with him just just to you know like I said to alleviate damage off your other players because that's what he's best at, right? Take some of the hits for them, and then when, when they die, bring them back to life, and you're good to go. So that's it. That's all I've got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best luck with your summons out there, and let me know how it goes. I don't know how much longer we have on this. I think we're just talking over <laughs> the regular the regular stuff here. Talking about his skills. Yes, yes. But he is. He, he's, he's, really, he's really just 
an arbiter right or an arbiter is a more advanced version of this guy that can do more but the only thing he does have is you know being able to take off buffs on a skill one which can be handy in some keeps there's nothing wrong with that to remove buffs there's actually a lot of good places for that so thank you all for your support please like and subscribe as you can read down here below and i'll see you all very soon